So this is gonna be another card trick. Now this is one that I actually made, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to have you pick any card. Let's just say you pick this one. Memorize it. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? So memorize your card. I am just going to put your card in, on the bottom. Your three of diamonds on the bottom. Doesn't matter if I know the card. Now I'm gonna put it on top. So basically it's on top of the deck now. Put it right here. Okay? So your card, the three of diamonds, is in the bottom of the deck. And you could see again, it is a random deck of cards. And basically, look what's gonna happen. If I just come over with a magical wave, it's like that, your card actually turns blank. Your chosen three of diamonds is here, okay? So since it's here, just remember that it's here. Okay? Remember that. And look. You could look throughout the whole deck. That the Three of Diamonds is not here. Look. So you should look throughout. The Three of Diamonds is not here. Look everywhere. Look for the Three of Diamonds, everyone. can't find it if you see the three of hearts that's not the three of diamonds it's the three of hearts three of diamonds is right here now I'm gonna show you how this is done so this is done with a regular deck of cards and a blank card now look this is gonna be your setup okay <clears throat> so basically you don't have to use a blank card by the way you could just have the card disappear turn into another card Basically, this is your setup. If you're just having it disappear and turn into another card, put the card you want to turn in, you want it to turn into on top. But if you're using the blank card, put the blank card on top. Now you're ready to go. So you just have them select a card. Doesn't matter. Let's just let's just say they pick this, which is a set of diamonds. Tell them you're gonna put it on top, which you do. And in my double lift tutorial, I teach how to get a break. So, basically, yeah, you get a break on the top two cards, hold them as one, so it's actually the blank card and their card, and put it on the bottom. And while you're just talking to them, misdirecting them, you're just going to get a break and do the top two cards like this again, and put this card behind that card. So, basically, this is your setup. This is what's happening now. It's a seven of diamonds on the bottom and the blank card on the bottom. Now, you're probably telling me, how do you do that change? Well, this is what happens. You're just going to hold it like this, and you're actually just taking that card, okay, and putting it on top. So you do that with these four fingers, but your thumb is here, and your hand's covering it all. So really fast, it looks like this. Look. You have to have the deck straight and not bent. You have to do it really quick and make sure they don't see it. So, yeah. Now, while you're talking to them, now, their card is on top. You're probably asking me, how do you get that out? Basically, this is what you do. You're going to get a thumb break on the top card. They're going to come over, and they're just focusing on your hand and stuff like that. They're actually going to be focusing on this card. So, we're just going to come over. We're going to do something known as a Tenkai Palm. It's when you point at a card, and it looks like nothing's going on, but when you're actually palming a card... So this is what happens. So when you get that break on the top card, you're going to kind of bend it <coughs> bend it here, sorry, excuse me, with your fingers. So it's like this. You're going to come over. This is what happens. Your thumb is just going to catch it. So it catches it like this. And it just bends the card. Okay? Now you could just go like this and point. Make sure they're looking at this part. As long as they're looking at this part of your hand, you'll be fine. So... Just point to the deck now, come over, take this, and put the card in your pocket, or whatever, wherever. 
the Sazongans, they don't see. And you could have them look throughout the deck. And you won't be able to find your card. They might find a similar card, but it's not actually their card. Like, for example, in this tutorial, I had them get the three of diamonds, and they looked around, they might find the three of hearts. But the three of diamonds is not the three of hearts. So yeah, that's how you do the trick. Peace out, rockers.